Hey there, how's it going? Well, Mabasi, Mabasai, I don't know how to pronounce his name correctly and I can't find a pronunciation key for it, basically said, well, yeah, we're, we're not fighting for equality anymore because we've already achieved that. What we're fighting for is equity. And I thought that was very interesting. Uh, Mabasi, you might have just blown something open that uh, needed to be discussed this way from the start. Perhaps we should try to push in dictionaries to redefine feminism to be about equity for women, equity for everyone, instead of saying that it's for equality, since you've pretty much reached your goals already. Equity is not a feasible goal in this country. Once we start to shove forth that people deserve something because of a group they belong to, it's messed up. If you are discriminating against someone for anything other than can they do the job? Are they harassing another customer? Do they pass all the tests to be able to stay at that housing complex? You know, anything that goes outside of those types of reasons for discriminating against someone, uh, you're in the wrong. And this equity idea shoves forth that we should discriminate based on demographics. And that's wrong. That's wrong no matter how you look at it. Someone should not get a job because they're gay. Someone should not get a job because they're a woman. Someone should not get a job because they're black. Someone should not get a job because they're Asian. Someone should not get a job because they're white. Someone should not get a job because they're straight. Someone should get a job because they're qualified for the job. This country, in order to work right, needs a bit of a meritocracy. Your merit. In fact, we've been pushing away from that for a little while to where companies don't even quality check their their employees. They rely on employment agencies to do that for them. And then they don't even have to pay them as an actual employee. They can pay the, the temp agency who will pay the employee. So who gets fucked over in the process? Of course, the employee. We already have things that are kind of tilting away from the meritocracy. And there are a lot of people out there who are very, very talented, who are very gifted in certain areas, and they're not going to get the job in the areas that they're gifted in. That's just kind of the way things have been working in this country. And it'd be nice if people could actually get jobs based on how good they are at something. That would be nice. How qualified is someone for something? That would be nice. But if we're heading towards this whole equity thing, that's all out the window and we'll have, you know, companies that hire people who are completely unqualified, but look, they, they fit this bill. Let's look at the Trump administration. Look how many people he's hiring that aren't actually qualified for the jobs. Yes, let's hire someone who has tried to sue the EPA as the head of the EPA. Let's hire someone who is against public education to represent public education. You know, this is the type of thing that happens when you don't hire based off of someone's qualifications. This is what happens. And this is the same type of thing that will happen under attempts to promote equity. Okay, it's not fair. It's not right. And the people that end up having discrimination brought against them because they don't fit the right group, they have been more wronged than when there are simply people who are prejudiced against something. They are more wronged because that is institutionally put into place, where the people, the people's opinions, where people might not have any discriminatory uh, beliefs or anything, but none of that matters. It's now the system that would be shoving forth discrimination. That's institutionalized discrimination based off of groups. That's not right. No matter how you look at it, that's not right. How can you push for that? You know, it's kind of funny and not the ha-ha funny either that some of the people who are pushing forth for this equity thing are the same ones complaining about institutionalized racism. Well, if your problem is that racism is institutionalized in some areas, 
Why is your answer to institutionalized racism to push forth that the whole system should base itself on institutionalized discrimination? So something that's a problem, you want to increase by a tenfold as the answer to that problem. It makes no fucking sense. So again, maybe some of these groups should stop using the word equality if equality isn't really what they mean. If equity is what they mean, maybe you should just be blunt about it. And then people can get in your face and say, well, equity isn't going to work. And this is why. So maybe this is what switched. Maybe, you know, in the 90s, we were actually pushing forth equality and people were happy. People were uh, making reasonable arguments. And then something happened in the 2000s that changed people over to, well, equality isn't good enough. We need equity, but we're still going to call it equality and then get mad when people, you know, disagree with us. Well, maybe if you're using using the word that actually matches what you're trying to do, um, maybe people would have better arguments against you. But I think many of you know that you're arguing for equity and not equality, but you just want to smear it in people's faces that, uh, you know, they're mean, nasty, horrible people because, you know, they're not marching lock and step with your ideology or something on that order. Yeah, equity isn't going to work here. It's not going to work with a country such as ours. The only way this would work is if everyone were already, like, if the whole country was perfectly evenly diversified, then maybe equity could work. Otherwise, no. And you're not going to make up for there being a lack of even diversity by cramming equity down everyone's throats. It's not gonna, it's not gonna work very well. And the people that are left behind are going to be more disenfranchised than anyone is currently.